Welcome back to Country Homestead. In this video, we're going to be installing a tachometer onto our Woodland 122 sawmill. Uh, want to make sure what our tack is. We got this cheap Harbor Freight digital photo center. What it is, just put a little tape on the wheel and uh, it tells you the RPMs it's turning. So we, out of both of the cheap ones, we ought to be able to see if it's half right. So we'll install it. Probably going to install it up here. It's just a cheap sensor I ordered off of uh, Amazon so uh, let's get it going <clears throat> well this one you just take the wire and wrap it around the uh, spark plug wire a couple times Pulled the sheet back, wrap this around it. I got it. Now the plastic's over the wire. To install this, we got this fancy little tool. It's a nut nut cert. You take this. It's a nut cert, so uh, we can saw these rivet nuts inside. We drill a hole, stick that in there, and it you need to screw the screw straight into it. It's a pretty handy little tool to have. Boats I got won't go through this tachometer. Just a pair too small. So we'll fix it. You use these nut certs, they can screw it on here. Then, when you close it, it crushes it. You got some little grooves here that holds the hole, and then you just unscrew it right here to take it off.
one. You see the meter kind of looks like that one that that uh the woodland meter. You know, maybe woodland might want to start putting them on here. That'd be nice. And we just got our wire up in there, kind of the slack wrapped tied up. And we left enough slack here. And that's as low as it's going to go, so it ain't going to get no tighter. And it's just going to go up. We'll crank it up and see how she works. I'm gonna crank it up and see how it goes. stops we went ahead and just put a, a a boat through there so it stops all the it'll hit so it don't fall through and of course we did all our numbers on it you can see it's numbered up by the inch right there's our our uh, log lift it's tow board they call it we used motorcycle jack works good until we broke it with a big log on one of the first videos and I just you know rebuilt it wasn't gonna throw it away couldn't get it warranty and if you look here there's that reflection tape right there and with this tool it has a little eye in it we just you know shoot it and it reflects and it'll show us the RPMs We'll stay back out of the way while he cranks it and we'll try it. Okay. Yeah. All right, try to bring it up slowly. I want to check your temp typed again. That's good. That's good. Check your, your torque. Huh? Check your torque again. Every time I always run it, it'll turn another quarter inch or so. It'll go about a quarter turn before it clicks. All right, go ahead.
we got it installed. We're gonna see how it works. I mean, I wouldn't put too much faith in how accurate it is, but it'll give us a ballpark. We kind of know what it's doing. This tachometer, like I said, was just a little cheap. I think it was like 20 bucks, 15 bucks. I don't remember. I bought it off Amazon. And then you can always use this one here from Harbor Freight. I think it's like $40, you know, and you, you can use it for anything that you want to check your RPMs on. So we'll let you know how it turns out. We'll, you know, if you liked it, we'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe. Yeah. Check out one of our other videos. Right now, we're actually working on our uh, log deck, and uh, I'll show you that right quick. We got the poles in the ground, and we'll finna cut some four by sixes uh, to make our our deck. So, uh, if you would just check it out for us, we'd appreciate it. Y'all have a good day.